All right, hey guys. Um, so I was gonna make a silly funny video with all examples of what to do and not to do before the AP exam. However, um, time is of the essence, seeing that it's tomorrow morning at um, 11 a.m. So I'm just gonna do more of a serious talk really quick with each of you, well not with each of you, with you, um, about some tips and tricks, things you should be doing beforehand, um, ways to calm yourself down, um, and all those other things that again, that today during classes you guys were talking about with your anxiety, uh, not feeling prepared and all those other things. Um, so we're just gonna quickly go through um, some tips and tricks. Um, so stay tuned um, and listen to all of them. Don't turn it off, but at least listen to them so that you are aware of things that you could be doing beforehand. All right, so number one, it's probably the hardest and the most easiest to do all at the same time. And it's always one of those like, yeah, 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 I'll do it, but then it never happens. Um, get a good night's sleep. Um, studies show, obviously, when you get a good amount of sleep, your brain is ready to go and it's ready to function, um, especially with a lot of you um, doing so much recently, whether it's school, AP exams, or working with school, um, get a solid good night's sleep so that you are ready to go in the morning and you don't wake up tired. Like some of you just told me on here, you only got like three hours or two hours or five hours of sleep, you need to have a good amount of time, okay? So you need to go to bed early, not study all night, and then be like, wake up refreshed. All right, tip number two, two. Uh, eat a solid breakfast. And again, I know that my videos are just kind of one of those joke things about Mrs. Murphy making meals, but literally this time I made you an example of a good meal. Um, and again, <laughs> we were just taking the time to write. Some of you are like, man, I should have eaten beforehand. Eat, eat something good. Eat something that's not gonna like make you tired, uh, make you groggy and slow. Um, eat something that's balanced and has a good protein and a good, whether that's with some fruit or something, but make sure it's balanced, you're getting hydrated, um, that you're not tired from dehydration. Um, and again, it all sounds silly, but it's also important um, to your AP exam. All right, um, tip three, uh, get away from the screen if you've been studying uh, and go outside for a walk or meditate or get some sort of exercise. Um, again, leaving the screen and leaving the room that you're testing in beforehand will be significantly um, more important than just staring at the screen, like screen, 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 and just feeling anxious. So go do something beforehand. Um, and again, like Robert and I always talk about how I relieve stress differently. So like I will go for a run or a walk or um, something like that, whereas he likes video games. So again, even that's fine, but I would get away from the screen since you'll be um, staring at it for for at least 40 minutes for the um, timed right. So get away from the screen, go do something active. Get that, the endorphins going. All right, round four, I lost count. Who knows what we're on? Uh, number four is clear out all distractions around you that you, again, that and to find a place that will be good for you. Um, so for example, make sure you tell your family that, hey, I'm taking this test. And again, try to minimize some of those um, noises around you. Um, also, I think about what's around your desk or where you're taking this test. Um, minimize the distractions. Like if I, again, this is like I'm, I'm the mom speaking in me. If I see something dirty in the house, if I see something disorganized, Instead of working, I will want to go tend to what that situation is. So whenever I work, I have to close the door and make sure again that I focus on what I see. Um, and again, that my, my area is as clean as possible and good for me and my brain. Okay, so make sure you minimize those distractions um, around you. Number five. All right, number five is going to be um, have your materials ready to go and have practiced with them. So that includes your APID. I would do all your headers with your APID and then your initials in the corner. Um, if you are writing, have multiple pens or pencils, have multiple pieces of paper. If you're typing, again, make sure that you are ready with that and that you practice uploading those. Um, and then of course, as always, make sure you practice with the materials and practice going through uploading and working with what uh, College Boards wants you to do with uploading and um, all the specifics. Number six. 
I just finished classes for the day, so this is very exciting. Um, I'm walking around, I'm very happy. All right, so you should attend my pep talk in the morning. Um, again, get your mind ready, get your mind set for success. And um, again, having those positive thoughts, not any of that negative talk. Again, it's easy to go to that negative, um, but you are ready, you are prepared for this. Like, I know you are. Um, so come to the pep talk at 9, 8, 9, 9, and then, and then, then 9 a.m. <laughs> I really want to go outside. Oh, 9 a.m. And uh, we will, again, discuss any questions that you have left. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a pep talk. Um, and then you'll be on your merry little way. Again, you'll have some time in between that and then having to log in at 1030. And number seven. Seven. Um, listen to a song that makes you feel good or a playlist. Get, get something going that's gonna pep you up and get you excited and in the right mindset um, for for the test, whatever that is. And again, pump yourself up, get ready to go. Um, listen to a motivational speech, um, which could be mine, I guess. Um, whatever it is, just get you at yourself in that right mindset for success. Um, and then again, then you'll be ready to go. And number eight. Number eight, do not study all night. Sorry, that was kind of with Number one, get left sleep. Do not study all day. Do not study all night. Um, some of you need to walk away right now before you over practice and you over complicate it and you overthink it. Okay, so you need to take a break and take a moment to chill out and relax. Okay, all right, so I'll see you all in the morning.